Hi, my name is Charis Bristol, the Nutrition Education and Promotion Coordinator at the Grenada Food and Nutrition Council. Welcome to part two of our first nutrition online series of the Grenada Revised Food-Based Dietary Guidelines, FBDG. Recap, the objectives of the FBDG are, one, to promote awareness of healthy food consumption, two, to promote healthy food choices, three, to educate on the appropriate preparation methods, and four, to improve the knowledge, attitudes, and practices as it relates to nutrition and healthy lifestyle. In this segment, you will learn about the other three elements of the graphic, messages of the FBDG, how to put the messages into practice, and a bonus at the end. The third element of the graphic is water, which is at the center of the pie chart. It is placed there to show high importance to the body's function and life. It is very important for the processing of both macronutrients and micronutrients. There are different types of fluids that can be considered as your daily water intake. Plain water, unsweetened tea, fruit flavored water, vegetable flavored water, and spice flavored water. Under the six food groups, vegetables and fruits contain large amounts of water. This takes us to the fourth element of the graphic, physical activity. Physical activity is necessary for good health, and in the graphic, it shows how many varieties can be done by different ages and physical abilities, such as basketball for someone with an amputation, dancing, gardening, running, ring games, walking, swimming, and many more that get your body moving. The fifth element is a section at the bottom of foods to avoid. These foods have a negative effect on overall health and well-being. Examples are sugar-sweetened beverages like sodas, alcohol, fried foods, and highly processed foods like sausages, chicken franks, packaged chips, etc. Complementing the graphic, there are eight messages uniquely listed for the culture of the population of Grenada. The first five messages are listed based on choosing healthy foods and the message six to eight on choosing healthy lifestyle. Let's look at them one by one. The first message is, let's eat healthy. Enjoy a variety of natural and safe foods every day. Why is it important to follow this message? Eating a variety of foods from the six food groups will provide the body with all required nutrients. How to put into practice. Choose different foods from within each food group daily. Buy fresh local foods. Buy foods in season, they are cheaper. Prepare and store foods properly. The second message is, eat fresh vegetables and fruits every day. Grow what you eat and eat what you grow. Why is it important to follow this message? Good for the heart, immune system, skin, and memory, and can help protect us from cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure, and other chronic diseases. How to put into practice? Buy vegetables and fruits when they are plentiful and cheaper. Eat five or more servings of vegetables and fruits every day. Choose raw vegetables, and if you cook them, steam or stir fry for a very short cook time. The third message is, flavor foods with local fresh seasoning and spices. It's the healthier choice. Why is it important to follow this message? They add some nutritive value to foods and enhance the flavor and color naturally. How to put into practice? 
purchase and grow local seasoning. Learn how to use local herbs and spices in food preparation. Use chive, thyme, garlic, onion, ginger, turmeric, nutmeg, cinnamon, and other herbs and spices. Fourth message is drink more water every day. It helps your body function better. Why is it important to follow this message? The body is comprised of approximately 70% water. It is vital to the efficient function of all body functions. How to put into practice? Adjust your taste buds by gradually substituting water for sugary drinks. Flavor water with vegetables or fruits. Use technology or an app to remind yourself to drink. Drink water at transitional times, first thing in the morning, before and after meals, etc. The fifth message is avoid highly processed foods, snacks and drinks. They are high in fat, salt and sugar. Why is it important to follow this message? You will prevent the high caloric intake that can lead to weight gain, diabetes, high blood pressure, and heart diseases. How to put into practice? Choose minimally processed foods, like foods in their natural form, or prepared with very little changes to the natural form. Shop in the fresh produce aisle. Read food labels carefully. Use local herbs and spices to add flavor to home-cooked dishes. The sixth message is, be active, get moving. It makes you look and feel good. Why is it important to follow this message? It provides long-term benefits that maintain and or improve the quality of life. How to put into practice? Use yard space or local playing field as your exercise zone. Walk instead of driving or use stairs instead of elevator. Utilize YouTube or apps for daily physical activity. Get an exercise partner. Join a sport club or gym. Seventh message is create healthier ways to prepare our traditional dishes. Why is it important to follow this message? Traditional dishes represent our identity and by adjusting how we prepare them, we'll allow a healthier way of cooking for generations to come. And by that, a long lasting healthy nation. How to put into practice? Add more vegetables and fruits. Purchase lean cuts of meat or trim excess fat before cooking. Use fresh local seasoning instead of bouillon cubes. Replace salt with herbs and spices to add flavor. The eighth message is make time to prepare, share, and enjoy healthy family meals. Why is it important to follow this message? Help strengthen family bonds through communication and learning. Promotes culinary skills and better health of each family member. How to put into practice? Set aside specific days and meal to share together. Have children assist in meal preparation. Turn off distractions, mobile devices, television, etc. Now for knowledge check. Fill in the blanks. The FBDG has a total of blank. I'll give you a clue. It's a number. Messages and blank. The messages focus on how to blank and blank. Take your time.
Let's see how well you did. The FBVG has a total of eight messages and a graphic. The messages focus on how to choose healthy foods and choosing a healthy lifestyle. Well done. Now, as promised, a bonus. Here is a table with common uses of local spices. Some uses may already be known and others you learn today, but not limited to those listed. Nutmeg can be used in baked items, cream soups, sauces, eggnog, French toast. Cinnamon can be used in fruits, baked items, meat, seafood and drinks. Bay leaf can be used in stews, soups, gravies and meats. Cloves can be used in pickles, drinks, ham, marinades, cakes, preserves. Ground pimento can be used in pot roast, baked goods, curried meat. Use green and grated ginger in pickles, chutney, preserves, drinks. Sapot can be used in making cocoa blocks, baked items, hot chocolate and cocoa tea. Turmeric can be used in meat and egg dishes, paste and curries. Let this newly revised food based dietary guidelines be your daily practical guide for maintaining healthy lives. Remember to join us for our next segment of this series on Understanding Food Labels on June 16, 2020. Thanks for watching.